Hi, I'm Jacob Cebulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. Let's start exploring Rapid Miner with something very simple, such as statistical analysis of data. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to load the data from a CSV file into Rapid Miner. In the previous lesson, we have set up a repository for Rapid Miner. And this repository has a number of folders, including a data folder, which includes the file I want to load into Rabbit Miner. The file describes students' performance in maths in a Portuguese school. So I need to create a process here which reads the data and saves this data into a store or a database, which is more efficient when working with Rabbit Miner. So um, I'm going to look into operators which manipulate files such as reading from CSV. I grab the operator, drop it, connect it to the results port of the whole process from output port to result port and I need to make this operator read the data which means we need to specify what the data is and what is the structure of it. Um, I'm going to use the import configuration wizard and first I'm going to go to my directory. I can navigate through. I've been here before so it's a quick bookmark. Data students in maths. Let's do it step by step. It is a semicolon separated file not comma. You can see that. We can see the structure. Next we have names of all attributes in the first row, so that's been picked up correctly. And here we have a collection of attributes. Now those attributes could be special. For example, in the future I could be trying to predict the student's final result G3, in which case I could make it a label. Um, I'm just going to keep it the way it is, just to point um, to the fact that I could change the type of each one of, of those attributes, such as sex, which currently is polynomial, that means it's a multi-label type of attribute. I could say it's a binomial. The only allowable values would be F and M for male and female, which means there's two possible values. And there's many more such attributes, such as address, looks like it's urban and rural, only two values. And there's many, many, many more. Okay, um, let's go next. Finish. Run to test that we've done everything right. Okay, the data has been loaded. Looks like everything's in. I can look at the statistics, the type of all of the attributes by name, the missing values, if any. That's very important information, especially if we made an error by loading, um, that error value would be replaced with a missing value. Everything looks good, which means now I'm going to save the data into a store. If I don't know exactly where is such operator, I can type it in. Store all possible related information related operators are listed, so drag and drop, reconnect, I just have to give it a name, except that when I give it a name that means this store will be stored next to the process which created it. Uh, we don't know where the process is, so before we do this let's save this process. I'm going to put it into RM YouTube stats and call it students 1a convert. I can see the process was created and stored. Now I can name it students dash mat and run it. If I didn't have a process saved on the disk, 
and provided just a name without actually giving a full path um, the system would complain about that let's, let's run it exactly the same information because the data went through the store operator but as a result a store a database was created and that database we'll use in the next lesson so thank you and i'll see you soon